I am so tired today. <laughs> Alice had her procedure yesterday and had anesthesia and all that and so my typical nighttime routine is that when one of the babies wakes, I wake both of them and feed them together. And if they're sick or if anything's out of the ordinary, such as having a medical procedure and having a very off day, I don't wake them with each other. I just wake them, or I don't wake them. I just feed them individually as they wake. And so that meant that it's getting a little bit out of control and I know that we need to do some type of Probably like what they call a swap method where I don't resort to feeding them every time they wake up at night. Like we need to switch to having Brad comfort them or do something different so that they're, we're just moving away from the night feedings because I fed a baby, one or the other, seven times last night between 12.30 and 6.30. And they alternate and it wasn't the same one every time. It was just like one of them ate four times and one of them ate three times and we just don't need to be doing that at nine months old. But I want to comfort them when they're sick and when they're, I don't know, having a hard day. So anyway, that's that. I feel like I've gotten my life back and I don't know if it's just where we're at with the baby's age or I, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we got rid of probably 75% of our toys in the playroom and I know we keep mentioning this but it was, it's magic how well it has worked with them playing being able to play independently and just being able to use their toys properly. The, we had so much stuff that they could not even, they were getting overwhelmed, they didn't know how to play, there wasn't enough room to play, it was messy all the time. Let this be your push if you have the same trouble that we do with just too much stuff. Um, let this be your push to just declutter, get rid of it. If in doubt, throw it out or donate it's made such a huge difference. I just went down there and they were playing charades. Bear, Lindell, and Eloise all together, playing, having fun. It's so wonderful. And so while they're doing that and the babies are napping, I like to spend some time playing with them and then some time getting things done. And I started meal prepping for the babies. I haven't really meal prepped for them and I've just sort of fed them whole foods like slices of banana and avocado and green beans and um, what else do they eat? They eat the balls that I make the oats with the, that makes me think of Nellie's song, oats with the fur. Brad, please cut that out. So I started meal prepping again and I made pancakes. These just have banana, almond flour, and eggs. Quite a bit of eggs. So I made these and then Bear, Lindell, and Eloise hit them hard. I was gonna have, I quadrupled the batch. I was gonna have a lot to freeze. This is all that's left. And the babies haven't had any yet. So I made those. And it's, if you want the recipe, it's very simple. It is, the ratio is one half of a banana, one egg, and a tablespoon of whatever flour you use. Or you could do oats. And then I made those, and then we had some leftover apples from McDonald's. So I chopped them up and I'm making oat, like apple cinnamon oat muffins. So those are baking right now. They only have two minutes left and these are gonna be really great to make ahead and freeze and just have on hand to feed the babies that have some protein and just all kinds of good stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm doing up here. I don't know what to do with myself. Like, this feels like free time. I haven't had free time in a very long time. Another thing that I'm kind of halfway doing and thinking about is our house that we bought in Georgia. We just got dimensions for all the rooms. So having a house that's sight unseen, or just any house that you're moving into, it's really helpful to know the sizes of the rooms and know what furniture that you have will fit. So the seller was so kind and measured all of the rooms for us. There is no floor plan because it's a 1960s home. So she measured all of the rooms and I can go through and measure our furniture and just kind of figure out what we're gonna move because I don't want to move it all the way to Georgia if we're not even going to use it when we get there. Um, so, so I'm doing that. It's kind of overwhelming though because there is one particular room in the house that is a multi-purpose room. It's a great room and it's part of a breakfast nook that bleeds into a great room. Alexa, off. And I'm not sure how we're going to use it because there's already a dining room 
that we'll use in some other way. We don't really ever use a formal dining room. So I'll probably use the one area for our main kitchen table. So then I have this dining room I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with. And then the great room, but also a section next to the great room that could be a whole nother room, but it's all open. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna lay it out. You know what I need? I need a designer, like the rambling redhead. She would be perfect. She would know exactly what to do. Everybody go blow up the Rambling Redhead's account and see if she can help me. <laughs> that one. I think it's for sale. I'll light your candles. I'll light my candles. I like those sparkly fives. Any of the same things? Yeah. Hey, let's oh, see if you can still light farts. Let's see if you can. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mom. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you